Welcome, John. Thank you, Phil. You've had a stellar career, many years at PPNL, in a whole variety of positions, leading to many years of international experience, which is what we're going to talk about today. Why don't you share some of your background? My international experience actually started when I was 16 years old. I was um, selected to be an exchange student. Uh, it was a rotary program. I had studied German for four years in high school. And when asked what country I wanted to go to, I obviously said Germany or Switzerland or Holland or some country with a Germanic language. For some strange reason, they sent me to Argentina. And so after a year in Argentina, I came home completely fluent. And during my career at PPL, I rose through the, the ranks, uh, various positions of responsibility, uh, negotiated a very large uh, co-sourcing contract with EDS. Uh, from that, I um, created the first project management office at PPL, uh, wrote a project management methodology still in use at PPL, and then was the technology manager for a very large project that uh, lasted for approximately five years. It ended coincidentally in 1999, which coincided with the year that PPL purchased seven distribution companies in Latin America. And PPL Global, the, the international arm of PPL at the time, uh, came to the IT department and asked for someone to manage IT in Latin America. I was available, I had the skills, I had the experience, and through sheer luck, I was fluent in Spanish. And so I first went down to Santiago, Chile. It was a mission to assess the IT maturity of the various companies that PPL had purchased, and thus began a nearly 10-year career as the manager of IT in all of PPL Global's international operations, with um, four CIOs reporting to me and my reporting to the CIO of PPL.